I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video we're going to have a look at the best buying opportunity for cryptocurrency right now. The market is bloody red. We're going to have a look at what is hot right now. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Bitcoin is down significantly. The market is bloody bloody red. So the question is what to do right now. Obviously, this is solely my opinion. This is something I'm going to do from my position according to my portfolio. You do want to take that into consideration. I do tend to take a lot of risk. So for the last seven days, Bitcoin was quite stable. I've talked about it in my videos before. If you haven't seen those, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you stay fully up to date. As of basically last night, Bitcoin took a huge dump going from 43 to 39 ish. And now we're in a small minor, minor recovery, right? Or stabilization more so as you can see here, but nothing really major has happened like that for a long time. So there was obviously quite a drop here, quite a drop here, but this is a very, very sharp drop all of a sudden, right? I'm not a big Bitcoin expert. I don't know anything about technical analysis, so I'm not going to go into detail why Bitcoin is following this pattern. It also doesn't concern me that much. Why? Because while Bitcoin has been down for the last month, literally since this year, I've been taking long term positions in micro cap gaming coins, my personal main point of interest in the cryptocurrency market. And people ask me all the time and I always tell them I don't give financial advice, right? Always do your own research. I can only tell you what I'm doing, my research, my point of view, and you do your own research. Uh, people are asking me, what are you doing? You bought some coins, they're down, right? So for example, Cry Award, which I bought in at a dollar is now 62 cents. I could have gotten in a lot cheaper if I waited, could have, would have, should have, but I didn't, right? Why didn't I do? So people throw around, you know, you can dollar cost average, you can use this strategy, you can do, use that strategy. Anything what you want to use is fine, in my opinion. What I'm going to do is keep things super simple because I'm not really uh, in, into the fancy moon boy terms, right? I'm just looking at this primarily. I follow one of the main strategies of investing, which is buy when others are fearful. That is one thing I learned last year, which I didn't do because I was tending to be too emotional. That is my main rule. I will always come back to this. Somebody asked me today, specifically my private community, uh, which I run on Discord. What are you going to do? What are your thoughts? My thoughts are literally the same as they were yesterday. I am waiting for more opportunities. Why? Because I have at the moment uh, more than six figures in stable coins, right? I'm not looking to get jump in 100%, right? I'll st step in step by step like I've done for the last uh, week. So I did an update on my channel when we look at coins. So I have $10,000 worth of cry war, which is now only $6,200, right? I bought $10,000 worth of Eartha ish at about 25 cents. I'm still up on that one. So that's fine. I did buy $10,000 worth of Chumbi Valley, which the price went down, but the staking rewards have been amazing. So that's about $13,000 right now. And I did some really successful audio launches lately, which have been adding to my portfolio. One, which was yesterday, uh, VIF, right? The launch that I do, uh, which basically did a 30X, right now holding stable at about a 30X, uh, which I sold at a 26X, I believe. So I sold a little bit too early. Uh, but that did really well. There are some amazing launches coming up, so I'm not too worried about the market. Why not? Because we, or you, maybe, um, the beginners primarily, who is, haven't been in this market for too long, do not understand what goes up must come down at some point. And how significant that is, uh, we can see from this pattern, right? Even here, it was at 60,000, it plummeted all the way back to 29,000 and the pattern repeats. How low can we go? I don't know, right? Because as I said, I'm not going to read Bitcoin. What I do know is that as long as I'm confident, inevitably this market will go up. That's what I believe, right? That's my faith in the crypto market. And I will have tremendous rewards for my confidence during this period. And I look at this primarily, fear and greed index. When there's extreme fear, I'm buying, specifically under 20, I'm buying. So today I'm buying for about $20,000 worth. 
Uh, and as I said, I don't commit by multiple six figures at one time. I just take by charge chunks because these opportunities will become more and more apparent. As soon as it switches to 60, 70 plus, I'm selling right and this is basically the swing this is not solely the only thing that i follow but it is a very easy indicator to not become emotional right so there have been significant buying opportunities all of this month last month it was a whole different situation when we look at this it has been 24 22 20 21 right so let's say around 20 in my opinion for my uh, that indicates that a buying opportunity is coming up and here it was 10 with a huge first crash right so the 10th of this month was basically right here right which was the first time we were touching below 40,000 really right ish let me zoom in on that one there we go so right about here people were extremely scared right we we tested it here and here it happened again people were extremely scared which then uh, leaves me with a good opportunity because i don't invest into bitcoin right i invest into the micro caps so when i say micro caps even like any type of gaming really so what i would be interested i haven't made any purchase today yet but i do am interested uh, i still need to finish the tokenomics for my own nft project which I've been delaying and delaying and redoing and redoing. So that takes up a lot of my time, but I am looking uh, to make some entries today, specifically in two different things, either gaming or launch pads. And in this video, I will tell you what I think are the best opportunities for me uh, based on the information I just showed you. So the fear and greed index as the main indicator, uh, and then either gaming or launch pad entries. Just for you, so it makes sense, trying to explain what I'm doing, right? I assume that when the market recovers, we can go near all time high of these coins, right? It might take two months, it might take six months, it might take 12 months. The time frame I'm not worried about, right? What I'm doing, if the market is down, I'm staking my coins to get more coins. Whatever the value of those coins might be, it doesn't matter. In the meantime, I get more coins. The short term negative trend in my portfolio, um, I'm not too worried about because I believe in the long term vision, which is why I tend to remain calm and not panic, right? You see this linear downward trend, it is scary, right? But I know this project won't go bust because I do believe in this project for the long term. Um, I do see the all time high being at 40. $4.65, which means that if this goes down about 15, 20% more, we could pull in a 10 X on the next bull run or more. That's why I keep accumulating this project that I truly believe in. And I, I truly believe, well, time will tell maybe a year from now, when I make another video on cryo war that we pulled in a 10 X return on our investment by the decisions made when everybody was fearful. Right? And it's a difficult decision, definitely, but that's why it's one of the best strategies, in my opinion, buy when others are fearful, uh, because it's so going against nature, right? Everybody wants to sell right now, and I've done that last year and a year before that, and that was the stupidest, I, I made the biggest mistakes there, right? Because basically you're selling low and buying high when the market is in uptrend, and right now, this time around, I'm trying to do it different. So let's look at the gaming first, right? Gala is my basically my first pick. I mean, come on, I'm still looking at that relative all time high pattern in November. So I'm going to take last three months, right? I'm just looking at November, nothing else. So we're, we're sitting at about 82 cents, right? 25 cents right now, three X. Uh, I, I wouldn't say guaranteed because there's always significant risk, but this project would have the lowest significant risk looking at the market cap of 1.7 billion already. In my opinion, this one will make an extremely strong recovery when the market turns around. Gala, one of the best choices. You obviously have your Decentraland sandbox, but they're not taking that that big of a hit. So when you look at these two, Decentraland and Axie Infinity, they're only taking 10% hit, where Sandbox and Gala took a 20 to 25% hit. So basically you want to look at the percentage changed, not the actual entry number. Right, because it is very much likely that when Bitcoin goes back above 40,000 or, or makes a little run to 44,000, right, that these coins go plus 15, plus 20% in one day. 
And that's because the market is extremely volatile. You could have a short term benefit. As, it, as I said before, I'm not looking for short term benefit. I'm looking for long term benefit. Uh, but that's definitely something to consider. One thing that I think interesting is more of the powerful coins. So my neighbor Alice so I haven't covered that in a video. I will cover it very soon because it is an interesting project. But look at these amazing spikes here relative to where it is right now, relative to the market cap. So anything basically in the top 20 list does have some good entry opportunity. Alluvium, definitely when they roll out the game. Uh, I don't think Victoria, people ask me a lot about this project. I don't think it has a good opportunity because the, the IDO listing did like extremely well, right? I think it did like a 250, 300x. So the investors will slowly be dumping each vesting round is to be considered. One of the best opportunities, 28% down. I mean, Falcon, I think we can all agree that this is super undervalued right now for what they have accomplished so far. Um, it's just a downward trend in the market. You could even consider this for a shorter term flip, right? Because it tends to, to move back closer to 20 every time and then it drops down. But at $10, if you're looking for a long-term entry, then this might definitely be interesting, right? Oh, my bad. I did close that one. I wasn't supposed to. So let's open that back up and go back. So these are all the coins that I usually tend to cover on this channel, right? You can see the pattern. What is good is good. When the market is down, uh, some things are still in the green, which must have like some launch or game related things. Uh, one other one I've been looking at is like the Star Atlas, either uh, one of the two. Uh, mines it's a little bit too unstable but you can see like crazy opportunities with minus 32 um, percent that has tremendous potential we're looking at a dollar well 4.5 at the all-time high so you can see cryo war is definitely a better opportunity for the long term in my opinion relative to mines but the the projects do have the same type of appeal right and that's the pattern that I see is that I'm not looking at micro micro caps, right? Like say under 10 million, because these are way too volatile. So when we look, those are more like short term plays. When we look at something like Magic Craft that I, that I spoke about numerous times, there's like 2.1 cent here. And now it's like in a small upward trend. But ever since I covered it, it has never done any kind of sense. So I covered it from here till here, right? And then basically it has slowly died out. Um, but there will be future movement. But this to play something like Major Craft for the long term, it really depends on how the team can perform. And you really would be looking at uh, the Alpha game launch, right? The bad at the Alpha game launch, uh, and that hasn't been announced to be this year, I believe. Um, so this would be too much risk for me to make into a long term play. I'm willing to take a lot of risk, right? So I do have sufficient capital to take risk. Um, but I, I'm also not retarded, right? which is the other side of things. So I'm not delusional. I very much base everything on research, as hopefully you know on this channel. And I do look at the opportunity. Something like Soul Chicks, which is now going below IDO price, is obviously one of the worst opportunities, uh, which I definitely would not recommend. So the Solana-based blockchain games are, tend to be quite strong, right? So we have, uh, well, Cryowa, Star Atlas, you have the, the monkey ball, which I'm not really a fan of uh, myself, but it tends to, to, to hold strong. Let me just check. I haven't checked that in a while. Right, it's moved down as exactly as I said it would from a dollar even further down. Uh, it came from opportunity. So this is definitely an opportunity where I think you need to be able to do research the project, right? Because if you would follow what I've been saying about Cryo War, what I've been saying about, let's look at Genopads, because that's also a nice Solana blockchain game. I really like this one, right? So these projects are down because the market is down, right? You see the, the linear downward pattern. That they are good projects if you research the projects, they just aren't ready yet. So these projects have been launched, like all the games launch, without an actual live game. So the games aren't ready. You see a linear downward pattern as the game, the market reacts to Bitcoin, right? That's basically what's happening. Now, when you look at Monkey Ball, this, there's way more turbulence on this graph, right? So rapid downturns, some recovery. Um, and then when you research this actual product, it turns out that the team is extremely weak. Well, it's completely 100% crap, in my opinion, which basically means that the opportunity, in my opinion, my opinion, described here, 
is relatively the same to, to this project, right? Just it's personal preference. Where do you have more faith, right? That uh, the project can deliver here or here, but it's not the same as this, right? Although this, this looks quite similar, it is not similar. It's not the same. And that's why just solely based on the graph and technical analysis, uh, you might not have the best indicator. I don't know technical analysis, and I, I truly believe that's like a tremendous skill if you would, but I uh, find in my research from teams, projects, opportunities relative to other projects, that there's definitely some, uh, some best, good, better, best, right? I mean, when the market is down, I would say most of the projects are good choices. However, do note that, um, if Bitcoin would, would decide, I don't know, because I don't know much about Bitcoin, to go to 20,000, a lot of these projects will disappear, right? Because their coins are not worth anything, they're not being traded, there's no liquidity, and a lot of these small microcap projects will disappear forever if the owners do not have enough funds to bridge the bear period, the extreme bear. I don't think that would ever happen, but then again, I don't know. It did drop from 62 to 39 at the moment. And who knows where we're going? It's all a big adventure. I do believe in the long term, so that's what I'm focusing on. Obviously, when we look at the launch pads, uh, the NFT launch pads, two things that I like, Altura. So this is something I always like for the long term, right? Uh, again, look at the chart, significant risk, yes. Uh, NFT marketplace, yes. Yeah. So I've been looking a lot into NFT marketplaces just because of outside the gaming, right? Expand my uh, my knowledge a little bit because uh, they make sense, right? So Superfarm, Altura, uh, Luxrare. I've been looking into Luxrare as well. So obviously there's quite some hype around this right now. I think the value is a little crazy. Uh, so this one is 855 million, but it's extremely buggy, right? This one is only 80 million, but there's almost nothing there except partnerships. They just need more time, right? Luxrare is really hyped, sitting at a $6 billion valuation. It is trying to compete with OpenSea, so that does make sense. Um, I would buy this and stake it, which is actually one of the coins I'm consider considering today, dropping about 10 grand and, and then just staking it on their platform. The APR is about just under 600%, 599%, so that's quite good. And I'm just curious to see how this goes, if they can actually compete. I do like the platform. I do like the idea behind it. So this would be one of the best coins, in my opinion, to consider. It is quite expensive already. If you would look at the term, let's say a week ago, yeah, it was about $3. Just over a week ago, it was about $2. Uh, but that's obviously the hype, right? So definitely do your research there, make a risk analysis. But these are like three NFT marketplaces that I like that I do believe have long-term opportunities, specifically Altura being my favorite. It has always been one of my favorites. Why? Because the coin tends to just deliver me results every single time over and over again. Um, it's not really about the platform itself of Altura. It's more about the rewards that I've yielded that I'm, I've become emotionally attached to this project, which may not be, might not be a good thing, right? But it does, uh, is a very interesting project for me. Superfarm, I do believe that the team behind Superfarm, Elliot Trades uh, and, and their crew um, are capable. They're capable business people, in my opinion. And I do think they can pull this project back, improve it for the long term. Do I think they, they want to become market leader? No. So uh, I would definitely use this as a longer term play, but definitely not something comparable to Luxrare, who's really trying to battle with OpenSea right now, and they are ready to battle, right? Uh, where Superfarm is way too buggy uh, to even consider to be the same quality. All right, so those are the NFT marketplaces. We have covered crypto gaming major coins, and we're not going to consider any micro caps, anything under 10 million market cap, 15, 20 million. But we are going to see, see if there's some launchpad opportunities, right? Um, basically looking at the, the biggest loss, that would, that would be smart. So some are up, so Xava is up, Coinex, okay. NFT launch has the, big, the smallest loss. All right, so the biggest losers, any pet? Um, yeah, so if you're interested, I hold about 500K, so I hold the maximum. I did buy an additional 400K the other day when it when it hit the all time low. So here for 2.61, I think 2.61, I think on the second low candle, not the first one, but the second one I did buy. 
uh, because they were going to do another IDO and I sold on not this this one I sold somewhere here on 3.3 3.4 I sold uh, 300 or 400 K tokens which made me a nice five six thousand dollars something like this uh, that was a nice quick flip this one is not as easy to flip because it's not usually that volatile but if you're looking for a launchpad entry I, I know a lot of people are not happy with any pad and the projects they deliver however I am uh, so yeah, if you are not in this, obviously it's one of the cheapest moments. I think it's at the all-time low right now to pick this one up. When we look at the upcoming launches, uh, I think Vila's pad, I'm, I, I'm not sure if they're going to do dot pad, but if they're going to launch dot pad soon, then that might be interesting. So the project's closed. No, I don't think they're going to do dot pad, because if they would, it wouldn't have crashed that hard. Okay, bull perks is obviously quite interesting with a 24% reduction. I've covered this on my channel before. I'm just going to skip the ones I have not covered because I know a lot of people love Algopad, but I haven't covered it and I don't know that much about it because there's so many different launch pads, right? Hoppy is like meme pad. So any very small investor, right? When you have less than $1,000, you might want to consider, uh, consider Hoppy or uh, meme pad. They obviously have lower quality launches uh, as they are very cheap to enter. Seedify, not even for the actual allocation, more so for the token, right? I have discussed that before. Same thing with GameZone. What else we have? So a lot of the Blue Scylla launch pads are down because they were, the market is down. Just considering that dot pad launch is coming up next week. Uh, any of the Blusilla launch pads might be a good entry because people will buy these tokens to participate in DotPad. It will be one of the biggest launches I think we see in January. Uh, True PNL, it is extremely cheap right now. So I got out on 22 cents, right? But that's like two months ago already, right? Yeah, 22 cents I got out. So it did go very, very high and it has sloped down, but there's also quality issues on this launch pad. So you can get in for cheap. They have many projects. Right. However, do consider that there might be uh, the team is a little shady. But then again, you can't have amazing team, low price and a lot of projects. Right. There's always give or take one or two things. So basically, at this point, there is something for everybody. You have a small budget. There's something you have a big budget. There's something you like gaming. There's something you like NFTs. There's something uh, all around opportunities. And it basically all has to do with everything following the Bitcoin pattern. Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. Uh, there's extreme fear in the market. It yields a big opportunity if you have big enough balls to take action on it, right? And will it pay off in the long term? Nobody knows, right? This crypto market, one thing I've learned, this crypto market is way too volatile to predict, right? When we make price predictions, they are predictions. That's all it is. We try to look at prehistoric patterns to calculate uh, future events. And that's one of the main investment rules. You cannot predict future events just on historic patterns. You can find a pattern, but it's still probability, right? And one good example that is, is the probability that I would flip a coin 10 times, I could get 10 times heads, zero time tails. When I flip it 10 million times, I probably get about 5 million times head, 5 million times tails ish, right? On the law of big numbers. But the next time I would flip it one more time, it's still 50% tails, 50% head, right? Which is then in that case, always the probability of things taking turns based on policies or external patterns like government regulations. That's something that crypto has to deal with at this moment and the entire market, Bitcoin. Um, look, right now it's again, the chart is not even updated yet, but we're going to see a little bit of a lag down probably because this is 38653. Uh, it's almost dipping under 38k as we speak. Where I'm not too worried, right? So definitely want to repeat. My focus is on buying right now. My focus is on choosing great projects for the long term. I'm going to take less risk in the micro caps while the market is extremely unstable, unless it's like an extremely good opportunity. Other than that, I just keep accumulating with the vision of a six to 12 month hold period. If that is your focus, no matter how your portfolio swings, in my opinion, 
in the long term, uh, all I can do is win, right? If I keep this focus up. And at some point I've depleted all my stable coins and then I just wait. Fortunately for me, I have many companies to run. Fortunately for me, I need to look at these NFT project tokenomics that I'm developing, which I will announce on this channel very soon when that's time. If you want to stay up to date, join the Discord in the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, keep busy. There are other things outside crypto to enjoy, right? Watch some Netflix, maybe Netflix and chill with one of your Tinder buddies. Uh, and that's, uh, that's all good. So definitely a lot of opportunity, in my opinion, in the market, you know, what I think is interesting, and that's what you came here for, the best crypto coins, uh, the best opportunities, and why they're such big opportunities. I think that's very important. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. I got many more videos coming. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.